WTFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavino for TFNN. I wanted to bring to your attention here, you remember we were talking about gold about 10 days ago up there, 2801, which was a double 1.618 expansion. And you can see here we've had a $190 drop so far. But pay very, very close attention here these next few days, folks, because on the long-term scheme of things, there could be some really strong support here, about 20, 10 to $20 lower between 26 uh, 20 and 26 even. It might not stop exactly at that, but we'll cover that when we come up to the live part of the trading. Today's guest will be Norm Winsky, and for heaven's sakes, he's always got some great stuff. And again, tomorrow, we're going to have the man who said all this was going to happen, and he's been 100% right, and my hat's off to him, and that is Stan the Man Harley. He's going to be knighted by the King of England sometime in early May next year from his ancestry for such a call like this. And not only that, folks, he's making an even bigger call than that. So I would really listen in tomorrow and pay attention to what the man says because he has nailed this puppy to the proverbial wall. And I think that's a really good idea if we pay attention to both, Norm and to both uh, Stan Harley. We've had some good positions this week. Uh, we're short gold, uh, we're short hogs, it's done very well. Soybean oil's done well, corn has done well, and bonds have done well. We have no, in, no uh, position on the stocks. We were waiting to see what was going to happen today, and as I said in the letter, if it's up in the morning, Sunday, or Sunday evening, I said it's probably gonna make another new high on Monday, and with all these gaps, this is not how markets begin, folks. These are how markets end. But you can't tell that to anybody while they're putting money in their pocket. All of you that got the buy signal three days ago on Tesla, uh, please exit at 340. And if you believe that, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge. And also all of our Bitcoin holders from 18,000 are exiting today at 85,000. That was a call made by uh, John Jameson, folks. Long time ago, I have it in print. One of these days, I'll bring it out here and let you folks take a look at it. But uh, he's been spot on, but he doesn't think there's much more above 90. Between 85 and 90 is what he thinks it could be. So a lot of stuff happening. So stay tuned. We're gonna be with Norm Winsky at the break, but we got some stuff to cover first. So stay with us.